Hi guys, welcome to another battle report from Rootstem Gaming. It's going to be very similar to what you saw last week on YouTube or what you saw maybe a day or two ago if you're watching on rootstem.co.uk. Uh, it's another Gene Stealer game this time. It's a 2500 point game versus Space Marines. Now we've not actually made the mission yet. I'm just going to go through some of the terrain. Of course we've got some dilapidated bunker buildings. I do need to spruce them up. Um, they're going to be some nice line of sight blocking terrain as well as the pad in the middle. All of this is going to count as terrain. Uh, and then of course if you're in the crater it's going to be a minus two for charging. Same this side in the crater. All that is cover. I do like using this to extend the cover that you have. It's a really good idea. Uh, more craters. A bit like a war-torn sort of supply den. Uh, a road and then of course a couple more craters down there with some more line of sight blocking crates. Um, I might actually put some more crates inside that in a minute. We've got a nice big building there. I know it's two-tone colour, but hey-ho, this is the Imperium. And uh, and then, of course, we've got the large building. That's just from one kill team kit, surprisingly. And basically, the fences, what we're going to count the fences as, is basically barricades. So if you're within an inch of the fence and the opponent is firing from the opposite side, you will get cover. And then the rest of it is pretty much self-explanatory. If you're on it, you're on it. If you block by it, you block by it. Quite easy. Right. Uh, we're going to roll up a mission. Apologies for burping. And then we'll take you to some armies. Right. So the mission we've drawn up before we take you to the armies is Tactical Cascade from the 2018 chapter approved. We basically have to take six tactical objectives out of his deck that we don't want. And then we generate on his first turn two. And we actually pick these two that we want. After we've done that, for every one we successfully complete, we have to then randomly generate two tactical objectives for each tactical objective they achieve in the previous battle round. This will be interesting. Also, you've got Burden of Command, so you've still got your Slay the Wall Order, your first strike, your line breaker. But for every three tactical objectives you have at the end of the battle, rounding down, you lose a VP. This will be quite interesting, I think. All right, today's opponent is Ben again. Hey, how are hey. you? We did play before, of course, the Codex came out against his Blood Ravens, so we're doing it again now that the Codex is out. So this is, according to Ben, 2,500 points of Space Marines. Uh, run me through what you got here, sir. So we've got two detachments. Yep. First of all, a battalion, which the HQs are the Terminator with Thunderhammer and Stormbolter. Yep. And the uh, lieutenant behind it. Yep. With... Was it because he's seen Bolt Pistol yeah, Power Sword? Yeah, yeah. Then coming across there, troop choices first of all, we've got two squads of scouts, six sniper rifles, all with camo cloaks. Yeah. Five with bolters, one with a heavy bolter. Yeah. Ten man tactical squad with a combat meltrunk sergeant and a melter. Yeah. Then a ten man intercessor squad. Headless intercessor squad. Headless at the moment, because I still haven't got down to... Still uh, headless. <laughs> they've, they've got black on them now. They've got black oh, on really? them. Exactly. Um, so yeah, they're getting there slowly but surely. Um, because last time they weren't black, yeah. um, so those, those, so then coming across a six man tactical squad yeah. with a flame at the back, nothing special on sergeant, but the sergeant's the one with the uh scanner, not yeah, at the front for some reason, aspect, aspect scanner. Uh, then that's it for troop choices. Yeah. So, elites, we've got five man terminator squad, lightning claws, yeah, and the ironclad dreadnought at the back with hurricane bolter, melter gun, yeah. and seismic drill. No problem. Um, then, uh, so that's at least, then heavy support, yep. Land Raider, All right. as seen, Storm Bolter, two twin linked heavy uh, bolters, full last cannons basically, and then a Predator with auto cannons and heavy bolters, yep. uh, we then have a Flyer, which is the Storm Raven, yep. Salt Cannons, Missile Launchers at the front, Underslung Missiles on the wings, and yep. two Hurricane Bolters, and... Then dedicated transport the rays back with twin link last cannons on top. No problem. The the then outrider attachment yep. is Captain on bike. Yeah. With big hammer. Um, he's the warlord. No Salamander's problem. mantle and iron resolve. So that's your warlord and your relic. Yep. yep. Um, and then the other fast attack choices in there are the flying guys I can never pronounce with big bolters. Are the interceptors. Interceptors. Yep. Nothing like just. Taking two words out of the English and I'm making <laughs> Bastardizing Games Workshop. The Interceptors. Um, 
So that's what they are. We then have a rarely seen lesser spotted assault squad. Yeah, these are, these are quite rare. They are very rare. But not even now, veterans. I'd, I'd They're like, just normal. Exactly. I would like to say that this was a real tactical advantage about needing to move around quickly around the board. Basically, I just forgot I got hell blasters. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to change my list. It's a bit of a do thing to do. I'll, I'll be honest, Is turned up. We didn't actually know what mission it is, and he's kind of glad now because it's a tactical ad I advantage am. that he has picked that sort of uh, yeah. uh, unit. Um, and then the last unit we've not gone through is the three bikes and attack bike. Um, two flamers, sergeant with chainsword, and then an attack bike with never bolts at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. So using that's salamanders, it. obviously. Yeah, so he gets to re-roll one attack and one wound per phase, is it? One hit and one wound. One hit, well, that's what I meant by attack. Uh, one hit and one wound per phase. Which effectively means that he doesn't spend his command points on all. Are you spending your command points before the game begins on certain units? They are going to be Vigilous Veterans so that's on this squad here. Yep, well that's that detachment. That detachment yeah. So even his Lieutenant is classed as a Vigilous Veteran yes. as well. Well, a Vigilous part of that detachment is a Vigilous Veteran. And you're going to spend another command point to upgrade your Interceptors. Yep. Intercessors. Intercessors. Into um, the Intercessor Veterans, giving him a plus one attack. And plus one leadership. Plus one leadership. And he also gets access, because I'm guessing those are the bolter pattern. The yeah. standard bolter pattern. Yeah. You also get access to that. Tasty. Yeah, very point. tasty command point one. Allowing him to be rapid fire four. We're not playing beta rules. Because, I'll be honest with you, I did have an argument with someone at Games Workshop because it's very confusing. You have an argument with someone. Yeah, family. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's very confusing, especially when you've got the vigilance stuff involved. Yeah. Um, so we're just basically just going to be going from the Vigilus book. Right, let's take you over to some Gene Stealer Colt. So this is 2,500 points worth of Gene Stealer Colt. There's about four detachments in this, because it's 2,500. Yep. There's going to be a lot of command points. In fact, I think it's 17 in total. I've got two battalions, which is five apiece. I've then got a Brood Brother battalion, which is only three, because I have to half it rounded up. So that gives me 13. I've then got an, uh, an Elite Swamp. Which then gives me 14, and then a plus 3 for a Battle Force Army, which gives me 17. I've got a lot of command points, and you'll probably find out why. Right, starting with the Gene Stealer Colts, we've got four separate Sentinels. Uh, two with Heavy Flamers, two with Las Cannons. We've got two Luminous Battle Tanks, one with Battle Cannon, one with Nova Cannon. The Battle Cannon has a Las Cannon and, twin, and two Flamers, and the, uh, the Nova has a Heavy Bolter and two Flamers. Both have Track Guards. I've also got, as it always dies, the uh, <laughs> Rock Grinder. Um, every game I've ever played it in, I don't think I've ever managed to get off an assault with it to try and grind people up. It never happens. I've then got three units of standard, I believe these are near fight hybrids. Uh, one unit at the back there has got two grenade launchers and two mining lasers. The um, other two units have, one has a grenade launcher and the other unit has two flamers, both with sergeants. I've got a Magus... I've got a Primus and I've got an I've got a Acolyte Icon Ward as part of my HQs. I've also got two Gene Stealer Patriarchs. Now this Gene Stealer Patriarch is going to be the Warlord. He's going to be taking the uh, Elixir of the Prime Specimen, which is Twisted Helix only. Now that basically increases his attacks, toughness and wound characteristics by one. So he's quite an hard bad boy and he's going to the, uh, he's actually going to take Biomorph Adaptation, so he gets plus one to his woo, uh, to his attack and strength for his Warlord chart. So effectively, his attacks have gone from six to eight. <laughs> so he's he's quite tasty. Um, next to him is going to be the other Gene Stealer Patriot. Now, out of my seventeen command points, I'm spending one already. I'm going to have another relic. So I'm going to have two, and he's going to have the Amulet of the Void Worm, which adds one to his saving throws. So basically he's got a free up armor, four up invulnerable, and you cannot overwatch him at all. And he, uh, that, so he's going to be quite good for tying units up, I think, personally. Um, they're accompanied by three units of uh, just your standard hybrid, or I don't know, I think it's Acolyte hybrids now. I like, I like to change everything. Uh, one unit of five there um, with just a rock drill. One unit of five with a rock saw. Sorry, another unit of six with a rock saw and demolition charges. And then another unit of six with uh, a basically a captain with a, a, a lash whip and a bone sword. And another one with a pair of rock 
uh, rock cutters. Two units of gene stealers. Now, I'm going to spend another command point for these guys. They're going to have the first curse. I'm going to roll for that in a moment. So basically, they get an additional thing. Uh, like I roll a d6 and they either get extra attacks or better better saves or something. And then, of course, another unit of 15. Both of these are units of 15 because if they're more than 10 or more, they get an extra attack. And then a unit of 5. Apologies for the unpainted figure. Well, I've got unpainted figures all over this time. Um, I've got 5. The uh, adherents. And uh, they're quite tasty. They didn't do too bad against it. Uh, even though I, <laughs> I got killed. They're basically minus 1 to any wounds that come in. So if it's got a wound characteristic greater than one, it's minus one. To a minimum of one, of course. And uh, they ignore wounds on a five or six. As well as having a five up armour. But they are only toughness four and two wounds each. So not too bad. Yeah, effectively like a five up in from after the failed armour save, yeah. Uh, which can, depending of course upon if I use certain stratagems, can be increased. But it's expensive in stratagem points to increase it. So, <laughs> And then we're going to move over to the Brood Brothers. Uh, they're not... Brood Brothers is in the list. They're Astra Militarum, that's been attached. So they're separate Brood Brothers. I've got a Commissar and a Captain. The Captain can't use his orders, so he's kind of a, bit, a little bit useless. A Veteran Squad with three Plasmas. They're going to be in a Chimera, which has got a multi-laser, track guards, and of course, a Heavy Flamer. We've then got three units of infantry, uh, just with Heavy Bolters, Plasma Guns. One's got a Grenade Launcher, and just a Heavy Weapon Team at the back with three Rocket Launchers. I could have counted them as part of this, but... Uh, I wanted to see what the changes were when you stick it as Astra Militarum. So basically, they've all got plus one leadership. I can't use any of the traits, but they all get unquestionable loyalty. But none of them get cult ambush. So I am going to have to deploy these on the tabletop. Psychic power-wise, I'm going to be quite simple. Both the Gene Stealer Patriarchs can select two powers. So everyone's got Smite. They've both got Might from Beyond and Mental Onslaught. Mental Onslaught being one where you kind of roll off on leadership, but you have to choose a model. And if that model's not dead, you just keep doing it until either that model's dead or you fail. And then Might From Beyond adds one strength and attack characteristics to all the models in an infantry unit with an 18-inch. The Magus is going to have Mass Hypnosis, which of course means that uh, it's going to have a warp value of 7, and I can stop Overwatch with that, or minus 1's to hit as well. And Psychic Stimulus. So I can pick a unit that's ran, and uh, if successful, um, if successfully cast, they can actually charge. Bearing in mind, Twisted Helix pluses two to all my advanced rolls, and a plus one strength to all my basic bods. Right, that's it for me. So I'm down already <laughs> two command points <laughs> before, we, before we started the game, and I just need a D6 to roll for these guys. So... I got a five. Basically, they lose the swift and deadly ability, but have a save characteristics of four plus. Didn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted three to four. So, or one and two. So five and six is not what I wanted, but they do now have a four up armor save. I just can't advance and charge, which Baseball. is a bit of a shame. Yeah. 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 Right. So, I, uh, Ben... Pick the deployment zone, we're going to go for Dawn of War. And um, because he picked the deployment zone, um, and he's picked that side, I'll have my hand in view of the camera, I now have to deploy everything. So I'm going to deploy all of my units on here, and then Ben deploys opposite, and then I get the first turn unless he can seize. Right, let's sort this out. So we've deployed. A lot of Ben's stuff is down. His scouts, of course, have moved forward to try and get objectives. And he's got his, his big birdie with his Terminators, his Terminator Captain and his Dreadnought in there. That's a, pretty much a staple when you're versing Ben. It becomes, becomes a bit predictable, that Ben. It's a bit predictable. I'm kidding. <laughs> still a sledgehammer. Uh, still a sledgehammer unit. Head, still a sledgehammer. <laughs> no, it depends against this army. Um, we'll see. I think this is going to be interesting to find out because it was interesting to find out what happened against Granger's Uber, I'm going to re-roll everything guard army. Mm. Um, that um, scouts, of course, in the uh, nice little tower there. These are impassable towers. You can get to the top of them, but you can't do anything else. And then we've got Razorback with some bods down there. We've got that <laughs> with some bods in it. And then, of course, we've got 
lots and lots of assault troops. He's not got anything in reserve to pop down and disturb me, which is quite interesting. I, on the other hand, have a small squad there. Well, small squad. I've got three infantry squads. The Chimera's got the uh, captain and the uh, commissar in there, plus the veteran squad. And then, of course, I've got these lads here. And then blips everywhere. Blips everywhere. Right, so we're going to see who's going to have basically have the first turn. I've got the first turn. I don't roll for it. But Ben needs to see if he can seize. More importantly, I can choose if I want to, can't I? Yes, you can. So you can choose to whether or not I go first. I genuinely think in this case it's probably better for you to go first. Okay. Because if I go... You don't know. You're moving forward and you have no idea what you're going exactly. against. Exactly. I'll go second, you can have first turn. Right. Oof. 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 So, uh, he's going to go second. I'm going to have first turn. Fantastic. Let's rock on, Tommy. Right, guys. Um, not much in the way of movement from over here. This one squad moved forward and the Chimera shifted forward. Cold ambush this unit up here. Uh, so they're going to be in range of some shooty shooty. The Sentinels hurtled forward. They were all gathered around in this area. Another unit here. We've got two more units back here as well. And then of course we've got the Adherents in here. The Magus got out of the Adherents and ran forward. Both Lehman and Russes hurtled forward. And these Gene Steelers hurtled forward. Now over here, I did a perfect ambush on my Patriarch. So he's actually three inches closer. So he's pretty much going to be within a six inch range to charge and then they use the um oh lame not, weight lame weight that's the one and they got three inches now they can't charge but it does mean that grange has the first cursed gene ben. steel ben yeah <laughs> hey, you're both the same you're both the bears angry bears um basically got the first cursed gene stealers down in his flank onto his assault marines so we'll see what happens down here, see whether or not he decides to get out and try and take them out. Um, bearing in mind they have got extra armour on there, effectively. Right, so we're going to go into some shooting. So we're going to start down here. The, the auto guns from this squad are going to fire into the, pri the headless Primaris Marines. The two uh, mining lasers and two grenade launchers on crack are going to fire into the Predator. So mining lasers are in the Mechanicus dice. They need fives because the count is moving. Everything hit. Both mining lasers wounded, the crack grenades bounced off the hull. So that's a minus of three. So sixes. Sixes to save. So sixes to save. One, so got one. one. D3 damage. One. Just one wound. Not too bad, and then we'll do the auto guns. So we've just a little off camera, a uh, bit of shooting from these, these can't see anything. I've managed to take out two of the scouts up there. Then the rockets now are going to open fire on the Predator. So needing fours. It's a good roll. Freeze. Use that one. You re roll if you want. Still one, yeah. don't worry about it. Minus two then, sir. Uh, Five. Oh, it's like playing Grange. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what happened yesterday when I finally did get a hit and wound. Right, across here, I'm going to have two last cannons from the Armoured Sentinels fire into the Razorback. They have moves from these fives. Both of them are kinked. One hit. One wound. Minus three on the Razor. Six. Nope. Two. And six wounds. Actually uh, made up for the, uh, the lack of rocket over there. So the Rock Grinder is going to fire off against the Primaris Marines. I've got... The heavy stubber in my hand is going to be the Mechanicus dice. Sorry for my paint on my arm. Only one hit with the seismic, because it's fives, and no wounds. Oh, that's doing well so far with the shooting. I'm glad I took the shooting cards out of my deck. <laughs> with the six I'm allowed to discard. Right, let's crack on with some Lehman's battle tanks. So Nova Eradicator is going to fire into the Primaris Marines. I have moved a full, so I don't get grind in advance. Three shots. Now, it's a turret weapon, so it's, um, I ignore minus one for moving. So I do need fours. All hit. Strength of six. 
That's three wounds. I ignore cover and it's a minus two. So I need five. I'll, I'll double, double check. It's a minus of two. So, bloody hell, Ben. So one. Damage. Two. So one. it kills a Primaris Marine and then a Heavy Bolter, which needs fives, two hits, and two wounds with a minus of one. That doesn't ignore cover, though. It's a freeze. And another wound. So one dead, one wounded. Not bad. Right, so my Lehman Russ is firing its battle cannon and its last cannon at the Razorback. The battle cannon is D6 shots. Six. Don't worry, Ben, I don't I don't hit. So <laughs> when I do hit, I don't wound. And then when I do wound, you save. So at the moment, I wouldn't sit apart there. Apart from that six you took off it earlier. Well, apart from the six I took off it earlier, but he made it. I mean, look, there you go. So I do hit with the Laz and two of the battle cannon hits. These all need freeze. Oh, yep. Swine. Minus two with the battle cannon. Oh, well, again, safe. only one has got through. D3 damage. Two. Ben's saving throws are helping him at this moment in time. I hate you all. So, a bit anticlimactic, but we are now going to go into the assault phase. So, we'll get some charges done and we'll bring you into the fight. Okay, so I've only got one charge off which was down here and he's managed to get into both the Primaris and the Assault Marines so what he's going to do he's going to murder the, <laughs> the intercept, intercessors twos to hit strength six up to five and he frees to wound with re-rolls right them two sixes yeah. a minus six and straight three damage that's two dead that's two dead and then them two a minus three and d3 damage so I need sixes on them too, yeah. Dan. Which, well, I thought you were going to do a Ben. Which, they're one wound a piece at least, which will kill the other one. So I've managed to wipe that unit out before it gets a chance to hurt me. That's really disappointing. That's, that's good for me. <laughs> and then his assault marines get to fight back. So his assault marines is having a go at the Patriarch. We've got two attacks of peace plus one for the sergeant. Is the sergeant not going to special? He's just no, chainsawed. No, it's a combat squad. Oh, it's a combat squad. So it's, it's just two attacks of peace. Sergeant's over there. Right, no pops. Needing freeze. And salamanders. Yeah, it gets a reroll one. So I missed that. I missed that. I and mean, then he needs fives. And you can reroll one of these as well. Mm, Ooh, two, that's pretty good. Three, four. Four saves needing fours because it's just plus one to his armor against ranged weapons. So I lose two wounds. So he's down to four. And I'll be honest with you, that's it. I did score a point for a unit in the first turn of the game because I did wipe a unit out. Killed the Primaris Marine and put some wounds on some vehicles. I have kind of knackered up the Razorback, but I'll be honest, it's still functional. I wanted it dead. <laughs> I wanted it dead. Um, do because of course I have played clandestine again, so I am. There we go. Look, uh, yeah, that'll be okay. So I do score one of these. Don't sure I'm not cheating. Behind enemy lines, if at least one unit within 12 inch of the enemy's deployment zone. I do have two. I didn't have three, but I do have two, so I get a point. So I've got two points that turn. Which means that my victory is sweeter than ever. No, I'm kidding. So I'm going to be uh, up two points back to Ben's nil, but it's going to be Ben's turn. So, let's rock and roll. Right, so Ben's shifted up. He's trying to take out this Patriarch down this side. His flyer has moved up to a, a certain location going, Oh no, we need to make sure we've got stuff down here. <laughs> And then they've just effectively just consolidated the position. Right then, sir. Uh, oh, yeah. Ben's objectives is secure objective five. Which is under me predator. Under predator. And no mercy, no respite. So Kill score, stuff. Yeah. One victory point if at least one enemy unit was destroyed and or failed morale this turn. Three or more D3. There we go. Right then, sir. What are you going with first? Um, I think we'll start with this ensemble down here so which unit 
We'll go with the Assault Squad first. Into the Patriarch. Now remember, it's model, not squad. It's a bit closest. Team three Assault Squad. So, them, them yep. Them. Yep. Basically, Ben's firing three that can fire into the Patriarch, and then he's firing two into the Gene Steelers. Which ones are you going with first, uh, Ben? Two bolt pistols first. No problem. Both missed. missed. I'm not using my salamander on that one. Plasma pistol. Are you overcharging? Yeah. Okay. Failed to hit. Are you using your salamander on that one? I'm using salamanders. So it hits. hits. Needs a three to wound. Wounded. Wounds. Four pinned one. Saved. Um, then two bolt pistols onto yep. these guys. You've One just hit. done them all right. Oh, they did over two or get that, right, okay. These two are yeah. the gene seals. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Good. Free up. Nope, so I lose a gene stealer. So tactical squad's opening fire. Two of them have to fire into the gene stealers because they're not close enough to the patriarch. Go on then, sir. You all that. Yep, all hit the uh, gene stealers. Gene stealers toughness is four. One. And saved. And then against the Patriarch. So all bolters. All the bolters. Reroll that for some yeah, handers. Yeah. All hit. Yep. Need fives and sixes. Now I'll take that. That's a lot. And I've not used my salamanders on that squad yet. Four. Two wounds. Was it safe? Three up. Ah, okay. Because it's four up normally, three up because I'm in cover, two up because of my amulet. So that's it down to two wounds. That's down to two wounds left on that Patriarch. He's still going to have to fire upon it. Going next with this tactical squad, combi melter firing its pure melter plus the melter gun. They are close enough to shoot the Patriarch. And of course the uh, other three are going to then fire into the Gene Steelers. So melters so first. He's going to go with melters first. Two hits, needs three to wound. Two wounds, four up in one. Two saves. Alters. And then I think they should be in 12. Yeah, they should be, mate, yeah. Six shots then into the Gene Steelers. All hit. Ooh, five wounds so far. Five. All saved. Because I'm currently a four up armor and I'm in cover. That's not looking good, that Ben. I need to try and finish the bugger off. So, what are you going with next then, sir? Um, What's going on from his land raider? <laughs> basically, that's what I'm thinking. But I've said that you got that four up save. I have. I'm just better we overwhelm And fire. if I do fail it, I can allocate on a four plus to a gene stealer and just have him die. Unquestionable loyalty. Right, I didn't know that. Right, okay. Um, I did mention unquestionable loyalty several times yeah, when I told yeah. you about it. Any character that takes wounding hits, yeah. I can allocate them to, on a four plus, to somebody else. As long as I'm within three, which I am. We're for a final land raider then? Yep. I'm going to shoot a storm raven. He is. So, assault cannons, hurricane bolters. None of, our, none of your weapons from that can fire at that Patriarch. No, I'm not no. firing at the Patriarch. Are you going to fire at the Gene Stealers? I'm firing at these Gene Stealers. Firing at those Gene Stealers. Radio. Um, <laughs> the two underslung missiles yep. are going to go into... One of the tanks. Which tank? <sighs> Oh, sorry, sorry around. guys, sorry. We, n we normally decide all this, but, but you know, ben, ben just changes his mind all the time, it's funny. <laughs> he's swearing at me now. So he's firing all his missiles into the Nova, Lehman Russ, and then all the storm bolters and assault cannons and everything else, whatever else he's got, is going into these gene stealers. Yeah. Right then, sir, go ahead. Right then, sir. Right, assault cannons first, then he says. Needing freeze, and then freeze. That's a fantastic that lot of shooting, awful. that, mate. Wow, I, I believe that my shooting fast. and your shooting are pretty much the same at the moment. At the moment. Three. 
Plus one, minus one. So I do lose three gene stealers. I'll come round there yep. and pick them off in a moment. Do you want to uh, well the now the hurricane bolters? Just which... 24 shots. Was oh, rapid yeah, yeah. Um, so apparently a millimetre of wing can see one within 12. So uh, we're having the, the rapid fire. Any part of the model? <laughs> there the rules, Frank. There the rules. So rapid fire into I remember it. I remember this. I remember this. Miss, miss, miss. All of them have missed. Oh, that actually was a three. There you go. All of them have missed. That's missed. Why are you, why are you missed. taking threes off? Missed. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not taking them off. I'm just saying they all missed. <laughs> Six misses. Or seven. There's that one there. Yeah. There you go. Right. Need fours. Four. 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 I've lost three so far. Really fucking cool. Right, six wounds then, needing freeze, and I lose another one. So I did lose four gene stealers mm. out of that unit. Stone bolter and heavy bolter are going to go into the gene stealers from the land raider. All four last cannons are going into the patriarch. Right then, sir. This is stone one? bolter. Yep. Both missed. Wonderful. Heavy bolter, six shots. Mm. Four hits. That's statistically average. Freeze. One. It's not. Um, doesn't save. No, because it's a minus one on heavy bolter. So one of them will go down. And then it's four last cannons. Three hits. It needs freeze. Three wounds. Four pin run. Not one. Right. So, I'll do them all together. Command point. No. So one last cannon does go through on him. The other two take off two more of a gene stealers. So that's three gene stealers. So that'll be three gene stealers dead. How much damage do you do? On the Patriarch. Five. So he will actually kill the Patriarch. So this unit of scouts now is going to fire into the unit of gene stealers. Can't really see much else. So go ahead, sir. So two moves. Yep, two so moves of any fours. fours. Two hits. Hit. And then another three needing three. Four for six in that squad. Oh, is a six in that squad. Right, okay. Uh, salamanders. Still missed. Yep. And they're in range of lieutenant, some re-rolling wounds. Ones to wound, yep. So I need threes to wound? Yep. No, you need fours, because I'm tough as four. Oh, because of gene stealers. Uh, so there we go. And so then we roll that one for salamanders. Oh, yeah. There you go. So that would be three normal saves. One. So we'll do this first. Yep. Save is five. I'm in cover, so that would be four. So fours. So two. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got two wounds coming in. One from the mortal. Oh no, I've only rolled three. Hang on. One more. Right. So I've got. You saved two out of the. Four. I saved two out. Yeah. Two out of four, so I've actually got three wounds coming in because of the mortal, and they ignore these on a six. Which I didn't, so I do lose three of those guys. Oof, I'm no he's, use for any of the Yep, go on then, knock a command point down, so his flamer hit once, so he's now hitting four times. Um, so, force to wound again. Three. So three wounds so far, do you do your bolters at the same time, it's just oh, yeah. speedy. That's three. And then, and then one, two, got... three, four bolters. Ten. Oh, five bolters, yeah, sorry. Ten shots. Salamanders. Wow. How oh, good shooting. That's hella shooting. So there's three wounds already, isn't there? Yeah. Hmm? Three wounds? Oh, yeah, three wounds already, one yeah. Flame. Yeah. So you need fours? Yeah. That's another five. Eight in total. Needing force because I'm uncovered. That's not good. Mm. Five. So I lose another five gene stealers. Oof, that's painful. Four less four intercessors which can see the gene stealers are now opening fire. And he's gonna spend the command point to make them rapid fire two, meaning that it's gonna be four shots apiece. Which reduces him down to five command points left. Mm. Right then, sir. 
go ahead. Salamanders. So then mist, mist. There we go. Throw that one in. Needing fours. And one of those for salamanders, which is useless. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight saves. Five. Uh, Mine yes. Yep. That's not good. That is not good. My dice rolls are letting me down. Three. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. But morale's going to be a thing on these. I'm not careful. Right, so we forgot to fire the rockets and out of that, so that's down to nine. Then he's going to fire two last cannons at me. And you got one hit. Yeah, wow. Freeze to wound. Wounded. Six to save. Six, <laughs> eventually. <laughs> That took its time deciding what it wanted to be, there. <laughs> it really right. did. It really did. So, you've still got this lot down here to fire. Yep. Right, the bikes are going to open up. They're going to open up into the Gene Steeler Cult members here. And the squad disappears. Hey! <laughs> right then, sir. What's next? Um, it will be the scouts. Yeah. Can't see anything close enough, so it's going to have to be that squad there. That's the only one they can yeah, see. Yeah, no problem. So they're not going to be in rapid fire range. Nope. So, two bolters two to start with. Uh, you are within 6E, Captain. Alright, hit the point. Two, Two hits. hits. Need increase. Two wounds. Needing force. One saved, one didn't. Be one down. And then the heavy bolt into the yep. same squad, but obviously at minus one to hit. Yep, because he moved. And then reroll ones. Uh, he can't reroll that, that three. Re no, it's not. It's a success at the moment. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. And then, therefore, it turns into a fail after rerolls. So one wound, so plus one, minus one, needing a five, and a save. Uh, right, so the Predator's opening up. Two heavy bolters are going to go into this squad here. Uh, needing freeze. Needing freeze again. Wow. And then the auto cannon's opening fire at the Chimera. Uh, heavy. heavy f it's heavy 2D. Oh, right. It is heavy 2d3, four shots he got. Uh, two hits. Strength of seven, toughness seven. Roll that one again. Thank you. One. Yep. Yeah. And I don't know what the minus is, but that's got through. <laughs> I think it might be damage three or something. Damage three? Yeah, yeah. damage three. And I can't remember what kind of mirrors have. Okay, quick synops. Those guys have opened fire, knocked another three out of them, and then also one of them opened fire at the Chimera. Did two wounds, but didn't actually get through the armor plate. Um, that's going to be it for Ben's shooting, so we're going to now move into Ben's um, combat phase. So Ben has decided to charge with Gene Steelers down here, and he's also charged the Chimera with his captain, and he's going to go with his captain first. So yeah, four attacks. Yep. So. Okay. Technically two, or actually threes. All hit. hit. Yep. So base strength of five times two strength of ten. You need threes, mate. Even if you strength eight, you need oh, threes. Yeah. And then plus the salamanders. Yep. Yeah, so three. three Minus the three, you need sixes. I got one, that's six wounds, and it's still alive. Just that. Two command points, interrupt, go with the gene sealers. Nope. There we go. So I interrupted down here, managed to um, not really do much, I'll be honest. Um, they managed to get two and that's it. <laughs> I killed two, they didn't kill any of me. And then he reduced that down to one wound. I'll attack back with that, but effectively we're now going to be going into my turn. Uh, I can't kill him with that, so I'll just do my attack now. Look, there we go, did nothing. Right then, I'm down to four command points. Grange is now down to five. So I've ben. ben, I'm so used to playing Grange. You look so much alike. <laughs> Swearing, Ben. Swearing. I've got to edit that now. Oh, right. Compared to what Mills does. <laughs> yeah, I've got to edit him as well. Uh, right. 
Go on then, sir. What objectives have you managed to do? So, secure objective five. Yep. I have completed that. No respite, no mercy. Score one victory point for at least one enemy who's dead, which is your patriarch. I've also killed that. Yeah. I've not killed three, though, so just one victory point for that. So, that's two victory points. And you killed the unit in the, first, the round first round of combat. That's three victory points, then. Now, at the end of that turn, I defend objective six and score two VPs. Okay. So I then go up to four. Which is objective six. The one that's all the guardsmen around. So effectively I'm going to be drawing four cards at the beginning of this turn. So we're going to now go into Gene Stealer's turn two. Right, everything's rolled forward that needs to roll forward. And pretty much nothing in my, well apart from that down there, maybe they might still be in my deployment zone, but there's not a lot left in my deployment zone. Everything's hurtling forward towards his units. I did perfect ambush, so I'm down to one command point left to make sure he got a six, so he's within three inch of, <laughs> of, his, of his Warlord. Yeah. That's going to be quite fun. Warlord versus Warlord there. Yeah, that'll be a good battle. That'll be, uh, well, it might be short and sweet. You never know. It could be long-winded, or it could be nothing. <laughs> but the Chimera is staying there to stop you Overwatch, so... And then these guys have hurtled forward, these have come down. Right, let's see if I can take on some primaries. I'm going to start by using the two sentinels, I'm going to do them both together, two heavy flamers into that squad there. Goliath Brock Grinder is going to fire into that up there. He's going to need uh, sixes to hit, but he's going to do a short wave. Nothing. Would have been strength eight, minus two, and straight three damage. Mm -hmm. Now. Two last cannons from there into the same unit. They stood still, so we need fives because it's minus one. And again, nothing. Just wish I were Kadia where I can re-roll everything. Right, um, this tank is going to fire its cannon twice because it only moved five into the Primaris Marines. Heavy bolter into the Primaris Marines and two heavy flamers into that thing. So 2d6 shots with its cannon, ten. So, all this against the Burst Primaris Marines. Heavy Bolter is in the Mechanicus dice. That needs fives. Everything else needs fours. And I hit twice. I thought I had some bad dice yesterday. Not doing too bad today. No. One wound. Minus two. It ignores cover and it's D3 damage. But you've already got one wounded. So, that's dead Primaris Marine. And then the two Heavy Flamers. Five Auto Wits. I'm guessing it's toughness seven on that flying uh, thing. On the flyer, it probably will be. Let me just check. Oh, actually, even if it's toughness eight, it's still fives. Yeah. So fives to wound. One wound, one minus one. So four up. Save. And it saves. Rinse repeat. This thing here is going to fire the last cannon and battle cannon into the Razorback. And it's going to fire both heavy flamers up into that vehicle. Heavy flamers first. Four auto hits. One wound with a minus of one. Saved. And then 2d6 battle cannon shots. It's going to be six. So these lads that just turned up from court ambush, they're going to open fire on them. I've already fired with those against the um, scouts. scouts. They've just disintegrated. And of course the Razorback just, uh, didn't blow up, but it did die against the battle cannon. So these guys are opening fire on them. The grenades are firing crack grenades. And I need fours. <laughs> So none of the crack grenades wounded. Brilliant. They both managed to hit but no wounds. Now one, two, three. Saves on two pluses. Ooh, a wound. Uh, yeah, I'll take a wound. Okay, took a wound. Bolt, in fact, no, two frag grenades from these two. Captain first. One shot. Needing a three. Missed. Commissar. Four shots. Needing twos, all hit. Needing fives, one wound. Needing a two. Get a one, man. Go on. Hey! <laughs> right, this unit. Right, so all this lot, apart from the rockets, have shot, and I managed to do a wound. Well, you killed a man. <laughs> I did kill a man in a wound. Um, so that's not great, but hey ho. Three rockets then into that predator. One hit, that was a six until he fell off the table. How dare he? So wound no, minus of two. 
One. And two wounds again. Impacting but not doing a lot of hurt. Right. Do I have much left? I don't think I do, to be honest with you. I think I've fired everything I can fire. And I've not done a lot of damage this time round. So we're now going to go into my assault phase. Right, so charging across the board. Three of those got killed on the way in, but the like Graf, what grinder, that unit managed to get in and one of the um, Flamer Sentinels managed to get into the Primaris Marines. For Guard have charged. I've got a Captain, a Commissar, and the Infantry Squad managed to make it in there. They didn't, but do not really matter. And of course, the Patriarch's going against your Warlord. And the Patriarch, because of his Relic, gets an extra attack. Because his Warlord gets an extra attack. So he's got eight attacks. Now, don't get me wrong, I might fluff this. What do you need to put it? Two. There's not many ones there. <laughs> Bollocks. Strength is seven. Toughness six. Toughness six. I'm going to need threes. I get to reroll fails. So all of them are wounded. Just do that one separately because that's a minus six and a straight three damage. So we'll do that one first. Yep. That's the four up in bull save. It is. Save yep. eights. And then you've got another six. How many wounds have you got left? He's no, got five. five. Three's got through. And how many damages do they do each? D3. Yeah, I'm gonna come on point one. Wrong. Dice. No, of course it is. No. That's four wounds. He's right. still one. alive. That's not good for me. 40 may have actually been annihilated and terminated there. Right, right so we've gone across. I've done no damage with that, that combat over there. And of course, only one wound. And then this is hurtled forward, so I'm going to now try and hurt you. Yeah, so it's D3 extra attacks. One. So that's seven attacks from the rock grinder. It needs force to hit. Not bad for a vehicle, hits three times. Strength is nine. Toughness four, two wound. Two wounds, and I think it's minus three. It's two. How many wounds? Uh, two, mate, yeah. Munch. Two gone, and then I get to fight with the other gene stealers. Now we're going to go with the um, Acolyte Hybrids Rock Saw first. Two hits, twos to kill. One. Minus of four. Straight through, and then the other lad. The Mechanicus ones are for their blades. And the rest of it is for rendings. They are strength five, because twisted helix. So, that's four wounds with a minus one. And he's gone as well. So they then can consolidate three inches, which will probably end up piling into the primaries for it. So we've done some more combats down here. Um, the Gene Stealers absolutely annihilated the assault marines and moved forward. And of course the bows have actually annihilated the rest of them and then moved forward towards the primaries marines. So sir, he's now going to go with his captain. Four attacks, needing threes. All hit. It's hit. Strength of your weapon is eight, so you're gonna need three no, to wound. Ten because his base strength five. They still need three to wound. Why is it? He's not base strength five. He is. Why is that? Because of the warlord trait. Oh right, okay. So two wounds. And salamanders. Oh yeah. Three, three wounds. Five up in front. So one of them saved. And then the veteran squad's within three. And I put one of them across to the veterans. All right. So one of the veterans is dead. Blip. And I take three wounds out of my seven. So effectively fighting back, wound on Commissar lost a couple of guardsmen. And then these three here, they, lot, they basically annihilated the um, 
uh, the yeah, gene stealer hybrids that were there, but they're still in combat with the armored Sentinel. Right then, sir, gonna go into Space Marines turn two. So actually, at the end of my turn, I actually scored two VPs, so that puts me on to six. And Ben's got a priority order to receive for his captain. Needs to kill a unit that was in his deploy, an enemy unit that's in his deployment zone. He's got entrance retribution. And he's got to control an objective marker that was controlled by me. And for the Emperor, score one victory point if he makes a successful charge. That's quite an easy one. And if one enemy unit was destroyed by his flyer, then he will get another point. Which he, he did declare that's easy. Um, so he declared it's that's easy, which might not end up being easy. So, <laughs> right, so Ben's moving, and we'll bring you to shooting. So, Grange. Great. <laughs> Next time you do that, you lose a gene stealer. I ain't got no gene stealer. You have your five in a <laughs> Nearly all dead. Right, he's dropped everything off from his birdie. His birdie's gone into hover mode and moved down here. And they've stayed in combat. They fired off the bolt pistols, managed to sort of do a wound. He's fired off his bolt pistol, done a wound to my guy as well, which is not good. And then they have fallen back, allowing the bikes to move forward. Right then, sir. So you've got some shooting to do. Let's yes. see what you can do. Starting off with the tacticals into the gene stealers. Ten shots, nearly freeze. Salamanders. I mean, captain in any case. Oh, you've got a new captain there, have you? Yeah, captain and terminator armor. All right. So then the miss for the salamanders. Yeah, yeah. And then two for the captain. Yeah. So it's nine. Four's needed. And Two, three. Salamanders. Three. All saved. Bastard. Uh, next tactical squad I'll go into as well, but we'll fire two melters. Okay, so, so two, two melters melter first. Both, Both hit. Mean twos. Both wound. Yep. Got my saves ready. Alright, okay. I got an in one. Ah, yeah, of course. sorry, yeah. So then, six bolt shots. Yep. Salamanders, not captain, because we're in six. Salamanders. So that's four. That's, yeah. So four more. Right, so the invulnerables will be in Mechanicus dice. Uh, two. Two dead. Yep. And I'll two. come round I'll and take them off in a moment. Minute. Right, so he's open fire with his heavy bolters into them, managed to take out another one, and he's stone bolted. Now his quad Laz, effectively, is going into that Lehman Russ. Uh, yeah, he's not within six, I don't think of his captain. I might have to check that. I don't think I have a quick measure. He is actually within six, yep. So he gets three hits. Needs freeze to wound. One. Do you want to come on point? No. It's gone through. D6. Four. So I'm down to five. Oop. Hey. Right. So Dred's having a go. I'm going to melt first. So he's going to fire his melter. Hit. He's going to hit. Needs a four. Bounces off. Um, okay, yeah. And then. Hurricane Bolter. 12 shots. Yep. And I'll say that's at the squad behind. Yeah, yeah, yep. Just to reroll ones. Captains. Oh, it's a good job. What's that? Used to wound. Yeah, yeah. Salamanders. Yep. Oh yeah, it's a dreadnought. Yeah, yeah. So three, six, eight. Eight saves. Because uh, da, 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 I'm in cover. So I lose three. Not bad. He's firing with his snipers next. Two snipers have fired down at the commissar. Not done anything. I mean, he's got four firing at my magus. Salamanders. So four. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Lieutenant, sorry. The English. Right, so that's going to be three wounds and then one mortal wound. Meaning force. So one mortal wound. Not bad. 
So he's going to go with two flamers into the commissar, and all the bolters are going to fire. This oh. is from his bikes into, into the scrap. It don't matter about characters; it's characters. So because the captain is the character, and then the next nearest unit is the commissar, you can target oh, either or. So he's going to go for. He's going to do what he wants to do over here. So two flamers into the commie. He's got eight. Yeah, need him freeze. Leave those out. That's six. So he's got a four up armor and he's in cover. No minus on flamers. One. Another one and a two. And so he's fired his heavy bolters into these guys here. His auto cannons are going to try and finish off that uh, squad. He's got four, four shots. Two hits, needing twos. Yep, two wounds, <laughs> nearly off the table. Um, is it a minus one or minus two? Mm. Either or, I fail both. And it's how many wounds? Uh, D is it D3 or is three. it straight three? Uh -huh. Might be a straight three. If it's straight three, you've killed them both. Three. Straight three. Straight three kills them both. Right. We've gone down here to the assault marines next. They've got some bolters firing into the remains of these two, and he's firing his plasmas, but he's not overcharging into the wounded tank. So the plasmas first. Yep. We roll both hits. Nice. Yeah, told you to overcharge. Roll the wound. One wound. Uh, salamanders. Gonna use that now, All right? No problem. And yep, it goes through, so it's down to four wounds, and then your bolt pistols. So then three bolt pistols. All hit. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. And you can't re-roll any of them. All right. I think you're done. Apart from the flyer. Apart from the flyer. Oh, I'm your captain with stone bolt. Oh, what's he doing? Uh, firing these guys under here. Which ones? Please. Them? Yep, no problem. Go ahead. So four shots. All Ooh, hit. all hit. He threes. And is a salamander. Two wounds. One saved, one gone down. Alright, so you pick on okay. that one. So Ben's gonna go with his hurricanes into that squad there. And his assault cannon's gonna try and finish off them two over there. Ooh. And yes, and uh, annihilated eight of them, and also annihilated them too. So we've got the rockets now to go into the rear end of this tank. Oh, come on then, Ben. So we'll do the two crack missiles. Two first. crack missiles. Both two hits. hits. One bounces off. Yeah, one bounces off. And but it goes through. D6 uh, damage. D6 damage. Oh dear. Only four wounds left. One wound. I'm going to command, point. command point. Down to two. Uh, no, I'm not going to command point. Okay. So it's down to three. And then Rockets. two underarm missiles. Yep. One hit. That means down to three. Down to three. Yep, not going to command point that. Okay. Strength. Strength is eight. Yep. Bounces off. Oh, you swine. <laughs> No. No. Nope. Right to you. Down to three. So, sir. Right then, there's no more shooting. Uh, we're going to be going now shot, into shot, yep, Ben's assault phase. Right, so we've done the combat over there. The bike's charged into both uh, the captain and the commissar. Did nothing. We've got some charges going off over here. So we've got, they all made it into the Lehman Russes. Only the captain, I know. <laughs> Where nearly he lost four marines, nearly lost all six. If it would have actually hit with that battle cannon, I think that would have been yeah, it gone. Uh, so the captain's going to go first. We've got four attacks. He re rolls his ones. And that's a fail. There you go. So, eight falls to wound. Yep. Hold on. Salamanders. So one. And that's. Minus three. Minus three. Yeah! 
Yes! He's alive! <laughs> uh, in that case, my sergeant's going to put his power mole into that tank. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Three it. Yeah, five stuns, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Salamanders. Nothing. And then this one, thundering into the other Lehman Ross. Well, so D3 mortal wounds from the assault launchers, he did roll to hit. Three. Three yep. mortal wounds. So, suffered three so far. So that'll be down to nine. Four attacks. Yep. It's minus one, I believe, with its hammer, isn't it? Uh, it is with this one, because it's, so it's needing fours. Uh, yes. Reroll the ones. Captain. Yep, it's a good um, job. One salamanders. Uh, you can't reroll that three. That yep. Do the two yep. That's, so so that's two, hits. two hits. Strength is 12. Still three to wound. Yep. Two Both through. Wound. Yep. And it is minus four. And how much damage? Five strikes, that's ten damage. Right, so that'll be a dead tank. Explodes in your face. Fuck you. So he's dead, regardless. Because he's only got one wound left and the minimum he's gonna receive is one. Because right. the tank's exploded. Yeah. So we'll figure out because I know he's gonna suffer one and I've got a captain behind there and also. So let's fig I'll figure this out in a moment. So the tank went and pop, caused three mortal wounds to him. Three mortal wounds to him, two mortal wounds to this flying fortress that suddenly filled the camera, a mortal wound to the other tank, three mortal wounds to that thing, and three mortal wounds to his captain, a mortal, mortal wound. wound to the termies, and three mortal wounds to the squad underneath. That was a very, very successful explosion. It was, it was, <laughs> I'll be honest. It's, uh, that, it, it, it that, went that went up. So, so he went in, hammered, and yeah, a yeah. bit too, bit too hard. I think there, mate. I think you hit it a bit too hard. Did, bit did too the hard. job. Did the job. Did the job. Did the job. Right, yo. Off your character the map. Right, yo. So next one of these four terminators yep. into your two. Into my two. So we're now down to this. After yeah, I managed to kill a terminator by the way with the last weapon bone sword. So we did that straight away. There's no point messing around with that. And then this. This is where it's at. The Clash Go on, of the then, Warlords. Sir. Good job, can we all Yeah, ones. yeah. He's hit with all of them. This is bad for me. I needed them to miss. Yeah. Wounding on threes? Yep, because we spent um, whatever. All wounds. So it's all, all wounds. wounds. Right. So, I have a five up in vulnerable save. I'll do it over here. So I've saved two. These two, unquestionable loyalty. Yeah, we're in three. Shit. If that bolt pistol wouldn't have killed me, it would have been alive. So Ben has claimed these two cards for a point apiece and managed to get the Warlord kill. So he's actually on six VPs and I'm on six VPs. So currently as we go into turn four, it's a draw. But now we're going to go into Gene Stealers, turn four. Okay, these are my objectives. There's a lot. <laughs> uh, some of them I can do, some of them I might have difficulty doing. Right. So, I've moved round. Adamants have finally come out of the rock grinder. Apologies as well, it's turn three, not turn four. That was my fault. Uh, they've piled out there ready to charge some of these guys. Then Gene Steelers have moved out of the way as well. I think we're going to try and take out what's just popped up from down here. And uh, still locked in combat over there. That Sentinel's walked forward. These have stood still. These ran backwards. And of course, they're going to use two flamers because it's an assault weapon against that. Some rejigging of the squad here on two different levels. That fell back so I can get some shots off at his one wound captain. Hopefully a warlord kill. I was hoping for a warlord kill last time, but that bolt pistol's ruined it for me. And uh, these guys have moved forward. They did fire at the uh, primary Marines, but they've not done anything. So it's going to be this unit. I've got a plasma gun and three shots from the uh, las weapons into his captain. Plasma gun, of course. One hit. Couple hit from the uh, thingies there. Plasma gun is wounded. He needs a four. 
Dun, dun, dun. He's got three command points left. He saved. And then we've got a heavy bolter. Two hits. No wounds. The captain is still alive for now. So we're having to resort to the six plas uh, plasma shots from the three. They are veterans. All hit. Four wounds. This is 50-50. It says it should fail too. Should. And the rest of the lads are going to drive away a firing. Yeah. Well, it's failed three, so there's no point command pointing. No, because he's dead. So the, the captain is dead, and then the rest of the lads guns will fire into those scouts up there. Done some more shooting with these guys. They've fired into the Primaris Marines and not done anything. The um, Heavy Flamer managed to scorch and kill three of the scouts, even with their mighty three up save, minus one, because it's normally plus two and minus one because in cover. Uh, they still fell. The rock grinders fired, that's done nothing. Um, these guys have shot and knocked a wound off with their flamers. And then a couple of last pistols fired and done nothing. I've got these last cannons to go. They're gonna fire up at that. I need a four. Got one hit. Need a three. I didn't get a wound. That's a bit of a shame, really. I wanted to try and hurt that. Um, so, that... I did manage to get a Warlord kill, so I've included my points, so that takes me up to 9 VPs compared to Ben's 6. Right. It's crunch time, it's charge time. Right, so we've got a flurry of combats happening over here. Um, the tank did make it into the Land Raider, but I did lose for 6 wounds on the way in. So it didn't do too bad, the last cannon did hit, and actually caused quite a, quite a bit of damage there. Um, those guys down there have charged into the bikes. Um, so I should be able to try and uh, hit them quite hard. We did forget to show you the results for the rocket launchers. It impacted and did nothing. Right. Oh, actually. Right, so I'm going to go first. Because he does have three command points left, he could interrupt. So I am going to go first with the adherents. So two of the adherents with the power hammers. They're close. Well, they're going to be hitting the dread. So normally need threes, minus one for the weapon needs fours, but I do have a primus within six, so I get a plus one to hit. All right. So they're gonna be hitting on threes. Oh, not good. Now power hammers, I am actually strength six. That doubles it, strength some strength twelve. So that's three wounds. I believe it's minus two and a straight three damage, but I will check. Right, so the power hammers are actually minus three and a straight three damage. He needs at least, at least no, because it's strength, it'll be six wounds. You've only got five left, you need two sixes. You've got three wounds. Yeah, or oh, three wounds. Three wounds, because I need a three to wound. You need at least double six. No, does the dread explode? Nope, no shenanigans like last time around. So the dread has gone. The power picks are now going to go against his captain. I can't, you can't do in only in death does duty end with a dreadnought, by the way. Right, so power picks now. I did roll. I need two to hit because again I'm plusing one. Those are for rending claws because with the power picks you get two attacks plus one additional with rending claws. So these will be strength six. Needing freeze. Right, so that's a rending claw that's gone through with a minus four, so it'll be on his invulnerable. It's only one wound. These, I believe, are minus two and two damage. So again, just double check. So he's doing his wound. These are actually minus two and D3 damage. So he's doing that one first. Saved. And then he's got these four to save. Fails two. And what damage are they? D3. So it's up to you if you want to use a command point to... Well, he's only got two, so statistically, he's just going to die in any case. No, I'm not going to bother. Right, so he's dead then. So there's no point in me rolling D3 damage. Yep. And I'm guessing you're going to spend two command points to oh, do... I'm going to do only in death. Only in death does duty end. So you're down right, to, to one. one. So these are going back on them same guys, because they're yep. nasty as hell. So four attacks, needing freeze. All hit. I am toughness five, so you're going to need threes to wound. Oh no, sorry, toughness four, you need twos to wound. Either way, right, now, four wounds. so it's four wounds, 
You normally cause three damage a piece because it's a thunder hammer. Mm. Because of bestial vigor, you only cause two damage a piece, mm. and I can ignore them on fives or sixes. Mm. So best thing for me to do. So that one. Ignore it. Next one. And because I'm within six of the banner, I mean all ones. So that suffers one wound. Right. So then that one hits that one with one wound. So I lose an adherent. Yep. And then that one hits an adherent. And uh, so basically I've lost one adherent and one adherent is wounded. So I'm gonna go into that one because that's another charge. So I'm gonna roll the whitest for the D6, because I'm down to four, it's D6 attacks. And I've also charged. So the white is for the D6. The Mechanicus is the D. Oh, so only two attacks. Needing fours. Got one. Need a three to wound. Wounded. Minus either two or three. I can't remember. Roll a dice and we'll have a look. Don't yeah. Matter. Don't matter. And it's a straight. I think it's a straight three damage. So the waves have hit. He's still got his big flying fortress, which I'll be honest with you, is going to be needed desperately this turn. These two have still got their melter weapons and he's still got his terminators down here. So he's still got a good chunk of strength, but effectively I've muted the land raider. Because it can't, all it can do is fight or fall back, it can't do anything else. The primaris is still locked in to combat. He's got his primaris and his predator over here and he's got a few snipers left. But it's not really much, if I'm being completely honest. Objectives wise, I discarded Spring the Trap because it was useless and I secured Objective 1 and Blood and Guts which now puts me up to 11, command, uh, 11 VPs leaving Ben on 6 so I'm 5 ahead but he does get to draw 6 cards this turn so let's go into Ben's turn 3 So objective wise, Ben has got big game hunter, killer vehicle, he could do that quite easy. Emperor's Retribution, score D3 points if you control an objective marker that was scored by my opponent. He might be able to, I'm not sure. Witch Hunter, killer witch, there's a mega still left on the field. Defend objective one, now that's right back in my field. Secure objective six, again back in my field. And assassinate, which is going to be score one victory point if at least one enemy character was killed. So if he does the Magus, he could get Witch Hunter and Assassinate together. Right. Right, so a lot of falling back. His Land Raiders falling back. Those have fallen back. These guys are trying to swing round to try and bring some semblance or order back in. His Flyer, the Flying Fortress is staying still. And his Biker has fallen back as well. This is the first time your Bikers have not really done anything. Mm. They've, uh, they've been very unsuccessful. They got me a victory point, that's it. Yeah. Right, so he's going to go with his Predator first. He's going to target this with his Predator Auto Cannon, and then his Heavy Bolt is going to go into the infantry. So, Auto Cannon 2d3 shots. Yep. Ooh, so, it's five, five shots. I'll take that. He's still on full ballistic. Oh dear. Two hits. Strength 7, toughness 7. It is two wounds though. Right, so it's a minus one. He's got two wounds. That's a one, so that tank is dead, and it doesn't go boom. But that does mean so far he's destroyed one vehicle towards the tank. Towards the his tank, so he's towards his big game hunter. Right, so he's open fire. He spent the command point. Open fire with all of his primary intercessors and killed the further five men. So they're actually down now because his heavy bolt has opened up and managed to kill one. So they've lost six. He's now firing the snipers. They can see the magus. He's going to fire at the Magus. I'm going to have to do a lot of unquestionable loyalty here. Uh, no, you're not. There's only one of hit. Oh. Salamanders. Two of hit. Okay. You do need freeze and you're re-rolling ones. It's going to be benefit. So one wound so far. Two, Two wounds. wounds. His armor save is normally four or fives. So he's in cover. It's a four. So one wound on a four plus. I can put it onto the Acolyte with the banner. I can. I need to do that to stop him from getting the victory points. So we've moved down here. The bolters have opened fire at the adherents, done nothing. So the melter guns are now going to open up at the rock grinder. Uh, I was hoping I'd get a game where that didn't die. Uh, nah. Well, never mind. Two hits. Didn't need his salamanders, he didn't use them last time around. One wound. He's going to use his salamander. Yeah, I can't, I can't save because it's a minus of four and I'm a four plus. 
So the first one does 2d6 and pick the highest. It's five. Five. I ignore wounds on the six, so if I roll really, really lucky here. Nope, oh. that's at least four, so the vehicle will be destroyed. Does it explode? Pop. Please go pop. In fact, there's actually, just so people know, there is actually one, I think, where you, yeah, rig to blow, where you actually just explode. Nope! Ah, damn it. <laughs> so that's the rock grinder gone. Flying Fortress is left to fire. It's firing its rockets, all of its rockets, into the, land, uh, the Lehman Russ. Sure He's going to split fire with his Hurricane. So half of them's going into the Gene Steelers, the other half's going into this unit here. And then his assault cannons is just going to let rip on the adherents. Which one do you want to do first, then, sir? Crack into that. No problem. Because crack ain't whack. One hit. It does wound. It is a minus of two. And I fail. It's D6 damage. If you roll a one, this is going to, I'm going to laugh. No! Now I don't want you to explode. Thank Ooh. God for that. But it does mean he's got three vehicles this turn. This is shaping up to be a war. Right, so 12 assault cannon shots now into the adamants. Moving threes. Wow, that's, good. that's pretty good. That's really good. The other ones are only toughness to four. So threes to wound. Re roll? No, no, that one will be fine. So one, two, one, two, three, seven. Seven wounds. Need fives. Sorry, sixes, because it's minus one. So that lot's going through. And then they ignore these on fives. Quite a lot. Now, I'm just going to double check if I'm still within six. So against the adherents, yeah, I did actually lose an adherent, which is not good for me. But this is the first lot of hurricanes against the gene stealers. So we've just done these. He managed to kill another three of them and he's annihilated the gene stealers. So we're now going to be moving into Granger's assault phase. Granger's, I've done it again. I do yeah. it all the time. I'm so used to saying it. It's because I was down at Granger's yesterday recording this. We're down into Ben's assault phase. I'm going to start superimposing Granger's face over your yeah. mic here. I think that'll be all right. That'll, that'll cure it. Right, so Granger's got a charge off down here. We've actually done the combat because just coming back to it, it's not going to affect anything. I want to get a name badge. Yeah. Yeah. Granger again. I'm just going to put, I'm going to put your name as Richard Granger and everything now. Um, yeah, I might even make a t-shirt that says my name is Richard Grange. Bev needs to be worried, you've uh, Grange on your mind I constantly. Have, I have, because I'm tired from yesterday. Uh, we've fought all of that combat because there's no need, so that's done. He's got charge off down here against the character and the adherents, and what he's done with the character is basically the sergeant is going to attack the character, everyone else is going to attack the adherents. If he needs freeze, then he gets, so this is the sergeant. You've got salamanders. So you're using your salamander now, um, no problem. So two hits. He needs freeze to wound. Rerolling wounds off the lightning close. Yeah. Hopefully. Thank God he's actually still alive with one wound left. And then the other three are going against the adherents. You can do it down here if it's easy right. for you. And you can't reroll any of these. That's fair enough. That's well, a that two. two. Yeah. Oh, okay. And he needs fours rerolling. That's pretty good. Right, so I don't get any armor. That's four wounds against me. I don't get any armor. And I've just basically got my ignore wounds on a five. Oh, I didn't get any. The adherents go down. They are wiped out. So at the start of my turn, it's going to be into my turn four. We are currently, Grange is now on seven points. We've just done his victories. He's only managed to claim one which was big game hunter and then he rolled a d6 and only got one i called you grange again yep. yeah so sorry mate it's automatic at the minute and then i've got 13 points i might actually dub it just edit it Not and just have then <laughs> yeah just yeah well, i'll i'll get me nephew owen to record it so it sounds completely different <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, ben I might even do a rage t-shirt for you that just says my name is ben <laughs> So, sorry, <laughs> two people watching. Um, I am going to now um, be my turn. I've drawn my cards. I'm going to show you guys my cards. And, uh, yeah. 
we're going to take it from there because at the end of my turn I managed to get that defend objective 2 which put me up, like I say, it's put me up to 13. So I am a good five points ahead of Grange. He's got some ground to cover. Yep, he's slaughtering me, but the cards he's drawing is not to slaughter me. That's not his tactics. And I'll be honest, me chucking wave after wave of my own men at him has pinned him into a corner. He's pinned him into both corners. He's not been able to move out. It's very, very hard for him to do so, apart from this thing. So we'll see what the, uh, the rest of the Gene Steeler cult can do this turn. These are my cards. I think. Depending on what happens, it could be game over. Right, we've done the movement. I've only done a little bit of jerry rigging. I've actually left it after like, but uh, I don't know what to do with him yet. And then, yeah. These flamers have fired, knocked a wound off that. I've now I've fired my bolt pistols over there and done nothing. So now I'm going to fire these two heavy flamers into the Primaris Marines that are in front of them. That's six. Needing threes. That's four. Minus of one, plus one, so you need threes. That's two wounds, so that'll be another Primaris gone down. So just take him off. Yep. Two last cannons. Into the birdie. One hit. It wounds this time. Minus of three. Ah, every time. I don't think I managed to destroy that in any of my games. Right. And then we've got these guys over here. Okay, so I've had a bit of shooting down here. After the flamer. Uh, trying to kill that biker. Didn't manage to kill him. So I've got uh, two last guns actually. Which I'll do within rapid fire range of the biker. Freeze to hit, one wound, this is normal armour, so it's fine, and then, yeah, I think it's five shots against the scouts, I'll do that as well, re-roll, for the, the only way four dice, and no wounds on the scouts, so, I'm within rapid fire range of one of the plasma guns at the um, tank, which okay. I did declare, so the Mechanicus is for the single one on that, they're going to overcharge and just... So I do lose one, but two hit. That's, yep, strength eight. So that's two wounds of a minus three. Okay. Yeah. That's definitely a four and a two. So that's lost four, another four wounds. It's down to two. And I lose a plasma gun. Three rockets then. Into the vehicle. Two hits. Two wounds with a minus of two. One through. Yeah. Six wounds. Do you explode, good sir? No. The no predator is down. And just so that big thing down that side is now gone. The last cannons have fired down here. I've not really got much else that I can shoot. Oh, I've got a pistol from him. That'll fire into the primaris and it misses. So we're going to be going now into my assault phase. No. Right, so we've gone through the combat simply because there wasn't that much of it. Um, he did manage to kill a character down here, so he did get his assassinate because he got the commissar. But the uh, captain managed to kill one of the primaries and wound another one. Um, at the, they didn't do anything to each other, and of course I managed to terminate the Terminator. Hey, Terminator, Terminator. And then he's consolidated up because he managed to kill off the primus. Now in my turn, I've put a two there to show how many points we've got. I've got secure objective six, secure objective two, and I've got three objectives. So I've also got supremacy, which were two points. So that takes me up to 17 victory points, and Ben is currently on eight. So Ben thinks it's doable because he's got no prisoners. So score one victory point for destroys an enemy unit. He's got Emperor's Retribution. Which D3 if he gets an objective off me. He's got Kingslayer, which he's already got because of course the King Slayer's already, the King's already dead. And then he's got Witch Hunter and Secure Objective 6. Now 6 is not possible, but he might be able to get the rest. So Ben is going to play his turn. So we're now going to be going into Marines. Turn 4. So Ben 
Hey. Well done, well done. Take them what? Uh, six hours? Six hours, yes. Ben has managed to move his units forward. Uh, vote that unit over there has run through because he wants to try and get some melter guns. They've fallen back. His amazing fortress flyer is trying to claim objective number one. And his land raider has actually moved back as well. His land raider suffering, not really actually suffering any damage, it's just it keeps getting pinned. Yeah. Um, the flamer biker has moved up this way. And then, of course, he's got his, uh, his intercessors are still in combat with that captain. Right, sir. What are you shooting first? Um, I'll shoot these first. Yep. So then, well, it's just for two melter guns. Yeah, one melter gun into there, another melter gun into there. Okay, so the one into the two wound one, which you need a four. Do you get? He, he does get. He needs a three. And salamanders, because I really want that fucker dead. Bastard! Oh. And then uh, another melter gun into the other one. It hits. It does wound. I can't stop it from going through, and I think it's within six. So it will be 2d6, but the highest. Four. Four wounds. Reduces that to sentinel down to two. So, he reduced that down to two, and the other sentinel's been reduced down to two as well. So both sentinels now on two wounds apiece. The snipers are open fire. They've managed to reduce two wounds off the icon bearer. And now we've measured open four of them. Actually, have the icon bearer basically as the closest target. So he's going to now open fire with some bolters. And one bolt is going to fire over there, which is going first. One hit. Oh, it does wound. No cover because I'm a vehicle. Yep, saved with a five. And then eight shots against the earth. Feels a bit like overkill, this bear. All hit. Needing freeze to hurt the icon ward. All wounded. All wounded. Eight wounds. Ow. Pause. Ow. So, right, so the flamer down here is firing into this unit. With one shot. He's rolled one. Well done, Ben. Lovely. He has wounded. Wounds. He has wounded. I need a four. I don't save, so I lose one. And, and then, then bolt uh, Question to, I believe, see, I don't think we should be able to fire both weapons, but apparently we can. But I'm going to leave it down to you guys as a community. Is the Space Marine Biker allowed to fire two weapons, or is it just for one? Oh, there we go. So, yep, three hits. Salamanders. Still three hits. Yep, and then three to wound. And salamanders, three wounds. I lose four out of that squad. That's not good. Right, so Rich, Grange, Ben, Toby, Adam, Millsy. <laughs> you can fuck right. <laughs> The bolters into these guys. He's hoping 24 could take these out. Everything else into this. Correct? Yep. Right. Go on then, sir. So we're doing the. I've put that there to remind oh, us that yeah. there's one right. hurt. How many wounds is it on? Not still top profile. Yeah, you're, you're, you're rolling on 10, so you've still got your four. These two wounds. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll make that. And I'll make that ten saves. <laughs> you need nine to see a grown man cry. <laughs> I think if I got nine, that would make me laugh. One, two, three, four at least. Yep, yeah. so they have gone. The salt cannons now then, Ben. We need freeze. Mm. And you need fours. That's four wounds, that's not bad. Yep. Minus one, 50-50 saves. So I lose two, so I'm down to four wounds on that unit. then the crack missiles next yep oh dear and then the other missiles which used to be limited didn't they the other they used missiles to be yeah. Just... yeah that's better so it's needing freeze what's so the minus on these are... 
So these are minus three straight three damage. So I need at least one six for this not to explode. Nope, he's gone. And he does blow up. Ooh. Oh dearie me. Right, so that exploded. Just did one mortal wound there because it's a three inch bubble. So, Ben's shooting is over. It's now going to be a charge phase. He's going to charge down there. Now he's on a crater. So if he does roll a double one, he will whiff that. So I will record it just in case. So it's three inch, so he does make it in. I'll be honest, actually, I think if he'd have rolled a one and two, he would have whiffed that, but uh, he does make it in there. Right then, sir. Into the assault phase. So in the combat phase, the Magus is gone. And they actually finally brought down the uh, nasty, nasty man. We're going to consolidate. So we've got some morale. Because I need uh, morale on those troops there. Which is a two. No, I'm fine. I lost four, so I'm still fine with those. So the majority of my guard, as it were, is still alive and functional. Right then, sir. It's the end of my turn, isn't it? It is the end of your turn. So, I've got... Witch Hunter. So he's got Witch Hunter, which takes him up to nine points. And he's got Emperor's Retribution, which is D3. You control an objective that you other one didn't do. Yep. One. So he's up to ten points. He started to defend objective one. So that's in play. And he got five. King Slayer. Yeah, he's got King Slayer. Three that time. So that is six and a one. Yep. And then no prisoners score one victory point if an enemy unit is D3 you've got there. Yeah, it's a D3. Yeah. One. It takes me to 12. No, it takes you to 14. Oh, 14 against your. Against my 17. So there's only three in it. Yes. But uh, there's my objectives to go as well in my turn. So, Oof. this is uh, this is getting getting butt worthy, crunch worthy. So we're going to go into turn Gene Steeler Cult turn five. Let's see what I can do. So these are the objectives that I have. Always good. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to claim these though, I'll be completely honest yeah. with you. Right, uh, I've shimmied up there, sat on that objective trying to hide a little bit. I've moved those guys round, uh, there's a, another sentinel bearing down on this here because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with this remains of the veteran squad. These guys have, formed, have turned and basically tried to shoot that, and then these guys have basically tried to shoot that, although I haven't fired the heavy bolt yet out of them because I forgot, and done nothing. So a heavy bolt of them from them, one hit, no wounds. So I'm down to the three rocket launchers. One hit, it wounds. Minus of two. Yep. It's got through. Ah, every time, two wounds. Take it down to down eight. Down to eight, it's not what I wanted. Ooh, it's just it's not, top profile still. Not what I wanted. Last cannon from the Sentinel underneath, D6. Nope, it missed. That's not good. That is not good at all. The heavy flamer from there will then target the scouts on top. Two hits, one wound, and you need a three. Yep. And then the other heavy flamer will target the biker. One hit. So I can run it. Oh, I've wounded on a six. So minus one. So four. No, he's dead. The biker's gone down. So I'm going to fire them on overcharge at the Primaris Marines. <laughs> <laughs> so one of them dies twice. So I did get two hits and I did get two wounds. You've got fives to save for the cover. Uh, two saves. Oh, two, yeah, two. Yeah, don't matter wounds. about individuals. No, so they get wiped out. Because it's two wounds apiece. So, but I do lose one. And the last pistol was going to go in there as well, but never mind. Here a butt. A giant butt. Hit. Brilliant. 
All right. I'm going to risk this. Risk it for a biscuit. Sentinel into on Raider. Oh, wait, oh. Never mind. Power cut there. So, go on. I've watched. Last cannons. Yes. Nothing. Heavy bolt there. Two. Oh, three. 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 Oh, Ooh, that's not on. what I want. That's not what I want. Room on fours. Fives. Fives. Yes. And then the storm bolt. I watch a bit storm bolt That takes me out. No. And he's in. He locks it up for another oh, turn. Them things are. Ruddy arse! <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't laugh, but yeah, laughing. Right, I'll be honest, I don't think I've got any objectives off that turn. So we've just checked. I didn't score any VPs, which in actual fact has put me in a very bad position. Because it does mean that even though I've got 17 victory points, Ben now has 14 victory points, and he has a fresh set of cards to go at. With exception of one. With exception of one. Case. Well, don't know. Oh no, because no, no, I've you've, moved. You've, I've moved you've in. Yeah. It, so you've reset it. I've reset it. So, what cards have we got? Defend objective one. Secure objective two, which is the one in the centre. I don't know if you're going to have enough speed to do that. I don't think so, unless I just use my flyer. Yep. Yeah. Um, because that's a need mm, for an ornament, yeah. you know. <laughs> Defend six. objective six. Yep. Yeah. No. Defend objective, objective three. three. I can do you that. Can do that. Well, that's to defend, defend not so secure. it's two turns. Secure objective three. three. Oh, look at that, he's getting the cards that he needs now. Mission critical objective. Ah, so you need to roll a d6. Come on, roll a three. Roll a three. Oh, roll a do three. Well, that's really naughty. Or a five, I'd take a five as well, or a two. Three, five, or two. It's a six. <laughs> dice keep, god bastards. Keep the dice on it so we know that it's the six. There we go, mission critical objective is number six. <laughs> it's the one right in the middle of all the Brood Brothers. Right then, sir, your movement turn. Okay, so Ben has moved this unit forward. Those have fallen back to be able to hold that objective. He's fallen back his Land Raider, which again is pinned. And this has careened all the way over there to try and claim objective two. It is coming crunch time. He might be able to pit this. It's or try and get it. It's going to be very tight, but he might be able to try and... Turn six and yeah, if we get another turn, then it's going to be... Yeah. So, what are you shooting first then, sir? Uh, Has that unit run as well, actually, that one there? That one? Yeah. Yeah, that's run. Yeah. But I've got two melters. Yep. Melter one, melter two. The, no that problem. one's in six and that's in six. No problem. So, we'll do the first, first one, one first. It's a miss. Hits. Oh, it's a miss. And you can't re-roll no. it because it's actually a hit. Yeah. So, then that one into that yep. one. That's a that hit. That is a hit. So you need a three. And salamanders. And salamanders. Yep, Bingo. I can't do anything. Two so unless you roll double one. Just no. got a two. <laughs> and it doesn't explode. So that's sentinel down. Right, so Ben Snipers now. They can see these guys down here. So we're going to have a pop. Salamanders. Good job. And real kink. Don't miss. Still useless. On it. One wound. I do need a five to be able to save. I should have brought some dice with me. Nope. So effectively the sergeant over there is going to go. And oh. so Ben's now going to open fire with this. The flying fortress is going to fire lots of stuff down into that sentinel. And then the, uh, in fact, the assault cannons are firing then into this. And then of course his bolters are going to fire into the squad here. Which one are you going with first? And we'll so we'll yep. get crack missiles first. Go ahead. Reroll kink. Reroll kink. Two hits. Knee freeze. One. One. Uh, why did I not bring any dice? Right. Knee fives. No. D6 damage. Just bang. And he doesn't go bang, he just goes well, crump. Don't like the blitz. Right, the rest of the uh, shooty shooty done nothing. Because of course it's just impacting the crops. There we go. Salt cannons. Yep. Into the Good. Need need freeze. Oh, two misses. That's not good. Needs twos to wound though, because it is strength six and I'm only toughness three. You don't kink. Three, seven. 
seven saves of five needed because I'm in cover. So one stand dead, two stand dead, and one wounded. Not good. So Ben's opened fire and took it off those two, and his bolt is impacted all around him, and I got seven focal saves. So they just went, nope. Nope, we've just seen what's happened to our compadres. We're going to get down. <laughs> we are going to get down. Right then, sir. What do I need to charge it's in It's going to be the assault phase. Let's have a look. Right, Ben's got a charge off. He managed to get round there and actually got the charge in on the Sentinel. I didn't manage to get any shots off. So, he's got his flurry of attacks, needing freeze to hit. Reroll that one. Took the kink yeah, yeah. and the salamanders. Yep. So, I missed with that one. And then he needs fives and sixes to wound. Re rolling. Yep, I know you do. Yep. Three. So far, Ooh. three. Ooh. Four. Now, Four. lightning claws. I completely forgot, but they're only minus two, not minus three. So that's four saves. Mm -hmm. And I need five to save, because it's minus two. So I saved two. So I only lose two wounds. God damn back. it. When I attack back, I hit. I wound. I wound. <laughs> so at the end of Ben's turn five, he's got secure objective two and a secure objective three, which will bring him up to 12, 16. Victor behind you. One behind me. Now he actually has a unit within 12 inches of my table edge. So he would be able to claim just check they're fully in 12. Uh, well, I think majority need to be within 12. Well, I will we'll check it in a minute. But effectively, if the game ended now, it would end a draw. Worry, three up to continue? Yeah. We'll continue. <sighs> Turn six. So as we go into turn six, these guys have shifted forward. He's broken out of combat. That lonely plasma gunners trying to challenge the might of that <laughs> and then this lot here is uh, basically just reorganized so I'm gonna go first with the mighty veteran plasma gunner basically it's still the sergeant he's just gone and picked up the guy's plasma gun as he was laid low overcharging two hits two wounds minus a three sixes So yeah, that won't through. that won't cock yeah. at all. No, I'm okay. So he's lost two. Takes it down to its lower pro middle profile. And then the plasma gun over there with the heavy bolter will also fire at that. Plasma gun misses. Heavy bolter. One hit. And wounded. Saved. Yep, saved. And then a crack grenade. And then the rest of the last gun's gonna fire down here. So the crack grenade first. Hits. And wounds, minus one, and it causes D3 damage. Yep. Three. Ooh. It's taking that down at three. That's its lowest profile now. And then the rest firing. Well, the heavy bolter actually, I think, will fire up at it, and the rest will fire down here. So, guys, I've not claimed any of them. So, I'm going to have to discard one. Which is that one. <laughs> All right, and I've done absolutely nothing this turn, so I'm still on 17 points. And before your turn ends, I've got defend then objective, objective three. three, which will then increase them up to. Yep. Yeah, so effectively, you're winning. So if you want to draw your cards, and we'll have a look at this. In fact, you're winning by one. Secure objective one, which is the one at the back. Which is the one at the back, which you can do just by standing yeah. or just reorganising. So you've got that. Overwhelming firepower, score one victory point if an enemy would destroy in the shooting you phase. You could probably do that against yeah. that thing. Secure objective four. That's somewhere. Somewhere it's not claimable, I don't think. And defend objective four. So those two are not in play. But secure objective one. Overwhelming no firepower, power. all you Possibly need to do that. is to kill him. Yeah. And then defend objective one. Which is score two for two turns, but it doesn't matter now. Just roll a d6 to see if it goes on to turn 7. No, it doesn't. So even if you stand still, 
you have won, good sir, by effectively one to two victory points. Lose. We both lose one because you'll at least have secure objective one just by reorganizing you guys. Well, you could have whiffed everything, but you won't going to. Um, so effectively, we'll get that. Um, but that will be it. So you've just, I've, I've just, I've just pulled victory out of the jaws. You know, I've just pulled defeat of the jaws of victory. But yeah, I uh, just got a bad series of cards right towards the end. That was a, a brutal combat game. It was just me chucking men at uh, Ben's units. And then, of course, once his units whittled me down, um, it was trying to survive. But I'd already got that many objectives I fought. I had it in the bag. And to be honest with you, if it ended on turn five, it would have been a draw. Yeah. And then, because I couldn't claim, I basically, my objectives were to try and destroy that flyer, to kill the flyer. Kill the unbelievers, spread panic, defend objective three. Couldn't do it. No. Could not do it. Right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button for more. If you like my battle reports as well, if you go on to rootstem.co.uk, £3 a month and it will get you early access to pretty much everything that I do for YouTube, apart from the news. And on there as well, you can even actually purchase uh, miniatures um, for commission. You don't even have to ask me. You just basically go on there, go on to the store, Click on what you're wanting. It takes the money from you straight away. <laughs> so then you're not thinking, oh dear. Uh, you tell me how you want them painted, even on there as well. And then, of course, I'll just get them shipped out to you. Uh, the turnaround time, though, is four to six weeks, estimated. It doesn't normally take that long, but that's how long it can take. So don't, don't go on there buying them and expecting it within two days if someone's got a birthday. Because <laughs> it ain't going to happen. I'll just refund you. <laughs> right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.